The Green Building Convention kicked off at the Cape Town International Convention Centre in October, where delegates were wowed by the release of the innovative new Green Star SA pilot tool, which aims to enhance the performance of existing buildings. The existing building performance tool is a very important step for us as the Green Building Council. We're now not only focusing on design and, and construction of buildings in an environmentally responsible way, it's focusing at existing building stock and how do you operate those buildings to get environmental performance uh, at, at a high level. So it's about its actual environmental performance, energy performance, water consumption, waste stream performance, etc. Where buildings, the previous Green Star tools were much related to design attributes of the building. These are actual performance measurements of the building. So for instance, your monthly energy consumption. And why it's so uh, important is for building owners to change their buildings to become green, it will also help them in terms of their portfolio to enhance their portfolio value. So I think it's going to change the market rapidly and it's quite a mass market that we're looking at. Existing building stocks is all the buildings out there. The others are still under construction or they're just completed. The tool I think is quite significant. It's been mentioned a couple of times this morning that it's actually a game changer. Now if one takes a look at the current building stock in South Africa, 99%, virtually 100% is existing, obviously, because whatever we're building currently is a small fraction of what already exists. Now if we use the, the performance tool for existing buildings and we start to rate buildings, I'm sure we can easily affect a 10% saving. Now based on current numbers, the 10% saving is approximately a saving of carbon emissions of two and a half million tons of carbon. Now if you translate that back and you want to absorb that through trees, it means approximately 10 million trees. Now where are we going to plant the 10 million trees? 10 million trees equate again to about 15 and a half thousand hectares of land, which if we do the saving, we don't have to plant the trees. And that is the equivalent of about 30 Kirstenbosch Botanical Gardens, which is just around the corner from here. That gives you an idea of the impact that this tool can have. And finally, what impact that will have on climatic change. It will definitely reduce the process. The key challenge in South Africa actually in implementing some of the innovative solutions is because there is a written script that clients tend to impose in the tendering methods. So you find that closes up the opportunity for innovation. So that's something we're working through with our clients and ensuring that they can be early adopters of innovation and early adopters of creative alternative delivery systems. And that's obviously a journey for our country, a journey of understanding that things can be done in a different way. Even with the green buildings, it took time before there was a general adoption and acceptance within the market. So we're taking that time with our clients and showing them the upside, the benefits, um, and also the superiority of the innovations and solutions. So that's a process we're involved in.